Please, man. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ah. Episode 85 of the ITC podcast, man. Yes, sir. We What's back in the, this thing. Uh yeah, we What's are in this thing. Deal, man? It's What's, been a lot. It's been a lot. Since the last week. <laughs> Good thing we podding again, because we yeah. would have been missing all oh, these little yeah, topics, bro. man. There's, there's so much we gotta get into, and it all ra- revolves around pleas and courtroom cases. Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> A lot of those <laughs> beans and cornbread. <laughs> oh man, if you already heard, hopefully they didn't block it on YouTube. But if you already heard, man, the the intro, you know, what I'm saying your boy Gunner is free yeah. at what cost? Yeah, that's Work. the thing. <laughs> it's it's always it. it's always something when you you know, especially when it comes to the court system, bro. That uh, yeah, we'll let you free, but you're gonna tell on everybody. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get them. God. Damn. Damn. We're going to get them. All right. So we, we got to get into this because we know this is kind of the topic of the hour right now. It's a lot of topics. It's it's so many different mm-hmm. things. So, yeah, just let's get right into it. Uh, Gunner was released, uh, I want to say last night. I'm not sure what time it was, but he was released. And, and they uh, let him out same day. Yes, yeah, same day. Uh, and um, the, um, the crazy good thing. Look. Crazy thing is, you know, people was, you know, already speculating, like, hmm, what's going on here? Gonna release a statement saying, Damn. I did not cooperate, blah, 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 didn't snitch, yada, yada, yada. His lawyer released a statement, all this other stuff. Well, somebody put out the video of him and his statement before my man's was freed. Uh, I have some of they the- They set that man up, bro. I have they some did. of the uh, the actual transcripts of what he said. In the video, as seen, Gunna acknowledged that- he became associated with Young Young Stunner Life, aka YSL, mm-hmm. uh, records in 2016, and that YSL is a record label and a gang. Damn. Damn. He additionally said that he had personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the gang. He proceeds to say, uh, someone asked him, do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent in music indirectly furthered YSL, the gang, to the detriment of my community. YSL as a gang must end. Okay. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Gunner was asked in court. He replied, yes. Damn. I- yeah, man. Damn. So pretty much he said, I've chosen to end my own Rico case with an uh, Alfred plea and end my personal ordeal by publicly acknowledging my association with YSL. So that's pretty much what it is. That's the only uh, that's the only way he was going to even get this type of deal. And pretty much what the deal is, in, entails is uh, he's already served time pretty much uh, the majority of this year. So they're going to give him one year off. But uh, if anything happens... He gets in any more trouble, uh, there's a good chance he'll have to serve those four uh, remaining years, years. The four mm-hmm. remaining years. And I think he has to do like 500, 500 hours of community, community service, service, bro. Damn, push, man. push and plea. That's push and plea. Push My plea. question is just a plea. random question. Well, not really random. It's, it's mm-hmm. correlated. But um, mm-hmm. was it a guy named Alfred that did this plea first? Is that why it's called the Alfred plea? I think so. I'm done. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, that's a real question. Like, I really want to know. Like, who named it the Alfred? Right. Plea was Alfred a snitch? Alfred had to be a snitch. Was it Batman's butler? Mm. Mm. Well, Batman's butler. He's a he OG. He, yeah, OG he yeah, yeah I don't snitch, feel like he's a snitch. Nah, he was a real one. Master Wayne. He know. He know. <laughs> Master Wayne. Bro, you got to think. Balf, uh, Al Balfour. Balfour. <laughs> Balfour. Oh, hold on. Batman. Alfred. Okay. But nah. Um, <laughs> they Alfred the know same. everything. <laughs> yeah, they wanted the same. Alfred knows everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's sure. been holding it down for some years. He, he, he definitely ain't pushing no please. He's one of those people. He'll stay in there for Batman. Facts. He'll but do the, his time. The crazy thing is, I wouldn't necessarily. All right, let's let's be you know realistic here. First of all, ah, this is a tough one because yeah. will you take the fall for somebody like that? It, it's kind of like apples and oranges because it's like mm-hmm. I don't know why I always use that term, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be in that type of situation to begin yeah, with. Yeah, because if I'm in it, it's like it's kind of like you gotta. Was he? The thing is, was he? Um, Bullied into that situation, it's, was he? I, I mean, don't, I don't know. I it's mean, possible for it like like as he, a musician, though. You, you know how they um, what's 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 the word? What's the word? How they uh, 
uh, initiate. Nah, you know how people will bully an artist off. to do certain things. Uh, what is the word? It not is, bribe, huh? No, nah, not bribe. It's um, persuade. Strong arm. Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Suge Knight your way into yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. And like, hey, do this. You know, like, we like you. your sound. Your, your sound is your sound is what's hot right now. So we need you here. Like you and YSL. Like they mm-hmm. they muscling them. You know what I mean? Muscling them. Yeah. You know, kind of like they did six nine type shit. <laughs> well, six nine was a different case. He's an idiot. But, but yeah, that's besides but I get what, what you're saying. saying. But like something like that. What if that is the reason why he stuck around? Type thing. You know. It, that could be. That could I don't know. be. But, you, so but you know. But you know. What kind of environment and group they are before you get into? That's like the bad kids in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you know, know they're the bad kids. You know they the bad kids because you like, man, okay, I'm I'm from the same area. I know people that know people, and I know they move. We can name a group of people out here in Houston. Man, chill out, bro. But I I'm just knew. saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it's it's several groups. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but I'm not. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, mm-hmm. not to say the name, but mm-hmm. I'm not finna go in. What kind of shit, bro? <laughs> My bad, bro. My bad, man. My oh, boy, DJ scratch with a straw. <laughs> Look, man, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, to... I'm sorry. The audio, Ross. Definitely. I'm sorry, man. Um, you got me nervous over here. Now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. God, no words. <laughs> Stop talking. See how you set me pineapples. up before I even got it out. He's pineapple like, with your ass. No words. No words. No words. No words. Nothing. Nothing. I'll say nothing. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I was like, please don't say that. Uh-uh. I mean, I'm not going to say it, but I mean, I at the end of the day, mm-hmm. if they offer me something, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good, man. I'm nah, gonna, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna nah, you're going to take this money. No, nah, I'm not. That, that, I don't give a like, <laughs> I, I said, don't, no, I'm not. You're yeah, going to take this I'm not, money. I'm not, I'm you know, certain it. people would be like, all right, that's fine. That's fine. And it's not fine. And then next thing you know, you got a fucking bomb strapped to your <laughs> damn vehicle. <laughs> so, That's a little intense. So we, but that is very intense. <laughs> so we got to go there. We, we got to real quick. We're going to revisit yeah, this yeah. question. But it's definitely possible. Right. I get that. Hey, are and you going to take this money or not? No, nigga? I'm not going to take it. Even with the bomb strapped Even already? With the bomb strapped, bro. You're going to take me. That means you're going to take me out regardless. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, Facts. I'm going to have to always. Bro, it's like. I'm going to um, have to be looking over my shoulder regardless. I just watched Emancipation. Mm-hmm. Wonderful movie, by the it way. It was if good. Y'all get a chance, y'all should go check it out. No, it was actually dope. And I said I was tired of like slave movies. <laughs> I was too. That's but why I was I, like, ah. But I also feel like we need to be reminded every now and then. Just I get that. Low key, I have to like take like a two year break on stuff. Like you do, that. <laughs> but, but it's like it's one of the movies where it's, it's not like a lot of like twelve years of slave and shit where you mm-hmm. trying to get gotcha. crumbs. It's like okay, oh. bet okay, yeah. I can't. I'm trying no, not to cool. say that. That's but. cool. But like, cause I, 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 for me, I have like a limit on the amount I can watch within yeah. like a year now. Like, I, I don't know. It just became like that. So like, mm-hmm. if I see a certain amount, I'm like, all right, cool. I watch like four. That's all I'm watching the rest of the year. <laughs> nah, that, I mean, but that makes sense because it's like, you don't want to overwhelm yourself. Yeah, it gets, it. it start making you racist for a little bit. But it, it, do. <laughs> no, it makes, but makes you really like, at hmm. the same time, when you going so long without, that mm-hmm. not because the thing we're not in school no more. Yeah, so we're not getting reminded how much we were oppressed and you know mm-hmm. had to deal with shortcomings when it came to just being at the median level with everybody else. So yeah, I do personally feel like, and this movie made me feel like that. Like damn, we need a reminder every now and then, like like a check in. Like hey, don't hey, don't get don't, too don't forget, who don't you forget are, where you came from because mm-hmm. to know where you're going, you got to look at where you came from, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's kind of one of them. But I say that to say, um. In that movie, and kind of like what Killmonger said, it's like death before dishonor almost. Like, bro, I'd rather you, like some people just didn't mind getting shot. Because yeah. at some point, if you didn't do this, like if you if you carrying a bag of whatever or, you know, whatever you carrying and it's two times your weight and they see you struggling, they'll kick you down yeah. while you trying to pick it up and be like, get up. Oh, you might like, well kill and me. And, you trying to, and then they'll, some of them, they will kill. And it's just like, damn, that's what kind of shit. And that's kind of what happened in the movie. And I'm like, damn. And some people were just like, all right. Just but you're thing. not going to kill them because it's like, damn, this ain't going to get you. You want to die. So it's like, I'm going to let you suffer because mm-hmm. you're going to die here anyway. I'd rather mm-hmm. you die suffer like slowly than just mm-hmm. getting it over with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of one of them things when it comes to people like that. People that don't have that death, scare, fear tactic over you, they can't do nothing with you. So to bring it back to Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the day, my man said, 
That's a hard way to. We can't just bring it back to him after all. After that. emancipation, yeah, you got to. You, you, <laughs> well, we got to ease your way back from there. We I know, but it's like bring it back. To we got to ease from the it you back. Now we just jumping in there. We got it. We started back from you not y'all taking get, the money. Y'all get what I'm saying? He said, "Ain't no baby steps." Yeah, he did. He, <laughs> he went we, from emancipation to gunner. Well, we going back. We, we're bringing it back <clears> full circle. It's not taking the money. So he decided gunner. to be in a group that could have possibly been a bad look. Yeah, and you he, possibly knew that. I mean, come on, bro. Like even in the lyrics, it, he just did it. You know, no, no bribe, none of that stuff. He just mm-hmm. did it, and now he's doing this. Like that's now nah, that's, that's, that's a bad look. That's a that's a bad that's look. A bad look. Because <laughs> it's street code. At the end yeah, of the day. at that point, not because you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, you're not he a civilian. You move. You took your civilian badge off when you decided to. Yep. <sighs> yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where I mean I don't. I don't know him too well, so I can't speak up on it, but yeah. it's one of those things where I feel like possibly, you know, getting in for the music, obviously, Young Doug is well connected, you know, down there in Atlanta, so, and you know, of course, you know, YSL is the record label, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's some extra stuff, which most, most of these uh, <laughs> labels that get started up, you know, by artists or whatnot, a lot of times they're a front. For other things, you got an example. That you... I'm not going to okay, talk about, but I do have an example. You know, Death Row. We all know that we're not all just a big about Death Row. Right? <laughs> Everybody in jail. Or you know what I'm saying? But Death away. Row that that was a front. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it was the business side, but you knew there was some shady stuff going on behind the scenes. It was more on the gang side. So yeah. you see that a lot ha- happen, uh, especially with people who <clears throat> were in that street life getting into music. Now, I, I'm going to put my homies on, but, you know, we still doing that street stuff. It's just under a guise of a record label. So I can see how I'm going to get involved in just the music. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure. You know, you never know you about never a person, know. Yeah, character, but he just didn't seem like the one that was probably like, you know, moving, you know, waiting, you know, putting hits out there. But like you said in the oh, statement. so you're saying that somebody was putting... I'm just saying in the statement Allegedly. he did say some illegal that, activity was yeah, going he, on with the organization. Yeah. He knew what was going on. He just yeah. he just wasn't a part of it. And that makes you still kind of a part, a part of, of the problem. Yeah. Associated. So, so you fucking, are associated. So once yeah. they saw, you know, once they're like, well, now nah, you part of this, boom, 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 boom. Either you tell, you know, you admit that this is a gang and all this other stuff, or you gonna serve these five years. Or said, I more. heard your song and I say it. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's oh, we pushing peas, huh? So a lot of people are you know pretty much giving him the oh he's a he's a rat and all this other stuff and it's I don't know it's just it's not looking optically doesn't look good. He said it, he was chopping off somebody's hand. <laughs> or was it head? What? Find off he snitching and you know, chopping off his hand. What's and that about? don't help either because <laughs> yeah, yo lyrics and we know they trying to use lyrics yeah in mm-hmm. the, the in Rico. The yeah, so it's yeah. like you rapping about this shit too. Yeah, and so that oh, don't really help you. We got a good you. song on the on on uh, the last album, Metro, Metro Moment. Moment. That last song, all the money, that oh, yeah. shit go hard. No, all, all the money, money. Oh, that all shit money. Go, all the money, that shit go yeah. hard. And I got a lot of jokes, but I'm gonna be very mindful of the situation because. Yeah. I don't know what I would do in that type of situation. You Absolutely. know, I don't I don't wish any ill will on him or anyone mm-hmm. at all. in the group. No, 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 no. Um I feel like we make mistakes. Um and people have to they may have tried to change before it caught up with. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? There may and be something in the past. It's it's a possibility for a lot of things and we're not in a situation nor do we know all the facts. Yeah. All I know is I wish we can stop being in these type of situations cuz when we get money, when we become successful, there's no reason why I should still be gangbanging, doing shits in the streets. Mm-mm. And if my homies don't want to change, hey, bro, it was nice knowing you, man. But yeah, I got to separate myself from y'all because now y'all can tank the the money. Yes. Yeah. And now we all in jail. Up now we all pot. in jail. Now, because it's not just about us no more. We got moms. We got kids. We got, mm-hmm. you know. People to take care outside of. Outside of family and, you know, people that we hiring. Because when you're an artist, you're paying for a lot of people's well How do we know that Young Thug didn't say, hey, man, get up out of this? You know, yeah, Possibly. that's what I'm saying. It's like said, hey, you never just, know. I'll take it. I'm already about to be in here for like. Let, and that let's could say be. That oh, you talking about like in the in the actual like between now? Yeah, yeah like right now, like now and the time they all got locked up. Well, mm-hmm. he's and, gonna have to say something. Yeah, I don't care if Young Thug write a letter. 
<laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to he say gonna something. Have, he's he gonna will. have to say something because now you're not if, protecting if him. If that no was more. the case, yeah. If that's yeah. if it's the case that you're saying with him yeah. telling in jail now and telling Gunner like, bro, hey. they got me. I don't want you to fall for some shit that we didn't mean to have you a part of. Yeah, get out of here. But I'm gonna put something out so that way people will know because if you don't say nothing, it just look like it look yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 So maybe we'll see. right now it's just looking bad. Yeah, just look we bad. will see. Terrible actually. What he uh, may end up saying, and hopefully you know what I'm saying that gets resolved. But hey, he free. I know he's happy to be out. Yeah, of course. Right oh, before absolutely. Christmas and New Year's because he's been gone for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, him we'll and Grinder got out around the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah they they've been locked up. One was. Locked up overseas, and the other one <clears throat> was locked over here, man, in the states. So, yeah. But speaking of cases, man, uh, not Griner. this one, <laughs> not this again. Speaking of cases, yeah, we we're no, back. Don't do this. We're back. No, Tory. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we we in we the can't same. get rid of it. <laughs> well, this yeah, is no. you know this is this I know is, I know it's just starting. But yeah, it's it's been an ongoing epidemic, but we really don't have as much answers as you would think we would after two years. We don't have yeah. shit. So here's the cliff notes from what we've just been hearing <laughs> and seeing. The cliff notes is pretty much Megan lied about a lot of things that happened or she can't remember. But obviously, when you've been sitting up here for two years... And she probably shouldn't have been saying a lot of stuff on social media for those two years. But that's neither here nor there. That's what they tell you not to do if you're in an ongoing case. But she's been saying stuff and uh, it's been contradictory to what she said in the past. So now, you know, making this had to stand. Uh, it ain't looking too good. Yeah, it's, it's not looking yeah. too good in the sense of trying to convict Tori of actually shooting her. Did you see her best friend? <laughs> oh, Kelsey. Yeah. yeah. Kelsey came in. and from, I don't know. From what I know... <laughs> She was. What's she today? was. Uh, the, today is a day like other days. <laughs> she was um, one of the witnesses for the uh, prosecution, and she hit them with the Uno reverse card. Like, nah, I got my own uh, team with me. Give and, me immunity. And they were surprised Damn. by this because I'm pretty sure they thought she was going to be a key witness. To be like, yes, yeah. Tori did this. Got their ass. But that's not what happened. Uh, the whole situation with Megan lying on national television, talking about she never had any sexual intercourse with Tori, to <sighs> only <laughs> be found out that that's not the case and that's not true. And and people it, on social media are spinning it. Oh, that don't matter. Or oh, we we're still trying to figure out who about shot her. A, a black, black woman. woman. Mm-hmm. Got, you know the, the, the their favorite card. A yeah. black woman that got shot. I'm, and I'm not even saying you know as mm-hmm. far as like she's not telling the truth on that. Who yeah. knows. But at this point, man, it's about the, the cards ain't lining up, mm-hmm. and it ain't looking too good. It's looking, I don't. <laughs> it's looking like a lot, a lot of lies to me. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, it looks like um, it's perception is very key. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And we know something happened. Yep. People were inebriated. Yep. Um, this is what we know. Mm-hmm. People weren't in their right mind. Yeah, absolutely. They got into it. It was an altercation. Yeah. There was some words said. Drunk people doing drunk things. Yeah, of course, of course. Hands thrown. Just yes. so happened to have a gun involved. People yep. got blood, yep. you know, cuts, bruises. Um, there's a lot of things that just show you, like, oh, y'all was turning up. People got drunk. You And when you're drunk, you're either in a good time, you're having a good time, or you're not. Yep. And it seemed like y'all was having a good time that turned to not. Mm-hmm. And then y'all turned up, whatever happened with whoever it happened with, you got out the vehicle, uh, got back in the vehicle. It To me, it just seemed like, like Ross was saying, and we talked about before, they, they know what happened. Mm-hmm. She may not necessarily want to speak up on it or be 100 because mm-hmm. as you see during the case, it kind of felt like a lot of things came out that she necessarily didn't want to come out. Mm-hmm. That's why they were saying that she kind of may have looked embarrassed to her new dude because she's hearing, well, he's hearing now if he mm-hmm. hadn't heard before yeah, all of the she dudes. Was lying to him the whole time. Yeah, yeah, like all the dudes that potentially didn't smash the girl. That's one that's one thing that I'm gonna be like, I'm in court with my girl and I'm listening. Wait, who? 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 What? I didn't dab these niggas up. <laughs> I done went to this nigga game. But and that's one thing. So it's an it's game. an embarrassing thing. <laughs> then on top of that, it's like um I'm it's friend problems. Mm-hmm. Cause that whole thing about her potentially sleeping with people that was dealing with her best friend. Mm-hmm. So you got that. 
you got already having feelings for it's this a bunch dude. of mess. Yeah, it's like a it's so many moving. I knew right off. That's why when people was like, "Oh, he did it," I was like, mm. <laughs> "Everybody yeah, kind of was like, like, oh no, man, it just don't seem clear cut." Um, the first <laughs> thing I thought about basically when it came up with Megan and Tori was based on like I guess a story before that where she had got drunk and was like messing with. Trey songs, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A while back. That, yeah. And yeah, they yeah, were yeah. saying she was just super sloppy. And I'm like, she already has the history right yeah. there of this type of thing happening. Now, I heard about that a couple know. times. And, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's, like and it vlogs. happened a few times. And mm-hmm. it's like they didn't make it big because, of course, she's a big artist. Mm-hmm. So they was just burying yeah, that. Burying it. And yeah. I'm like, at this point, now we're seeing a history, a mm-hmm. pattern. Like, I'm like, it's a spiral. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a history of this. Behavior aggression. while being, you know, yeah, drunk, aggression, drunk aggression, and which so is like, which happens, and I mean, we get it because she had dealt with some loss, you know, yeah, um, and things like that. So that's why I feel like the the problem and what I'm noticing in this situation, running the social media can get you messed up because Absolutely. that now it makes it harder now mm-hmm. for attorneys and your defense team to mm-hmm. yeah. create stories based off of you just going straight out and you know opening your mouth because you're speaking emotionally at that point. Mm-hmm. You just blabbering at that point you're saying whatever comes to mind and then now mm-hmm. you're trying to defend it immediately and then it just gets into this bad case of yeah. well you said that and then now mm-hmm. people are like bringing up your past stuff that you said you probably was drunk during this period and mm-hmm. like it's just because now we're mess, not even bro. we're not even arguing the case about who did it necessarily it's going all it's, over the yeah, place yeah it's like now nah, it's just well now nah, this one don't no, no, remember mm-hmm. now nah, you don't remember now, this one is saying they, they lied about this mm-hmm. first statement they made. Because mm-hmm. now with Kelsey, Kelsey made it interesting. And I'm pretty sure it's it's going on now, if it's done or not. Yeah. But it's going on right now while we're potting. So mm-hmm. it's going to be some new information come out day four, um, which is the day we're potting. So mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to see it until after we're done. Because mm-hmm. they wanted to bring Kelsey back on the stand that morning. Because it's like, as they were going throughout questioning with her, it just kept being, I don't know, I don't remember. Um I didn't I didn't see him shoot her. Mm-hmm. And that was the big one to me. Yeah. I was like, damn, that was the nail in the damn coffin to me. Like, because that's the whole... You, like, it was, was only, what they needed. It was only Megan who didn't clearly, uh, from what they saying, couldn't have seen who did it. Kelsey, Tori, and, and the, then driver. the driver. I don't know where the hell the driver is. Yeah, he's the key. <laughs> he's really the yeah, key. Yeah, he's the Where's key. the missing that's link? Like the, the driver. The, the map, the X marked I'm on the map. Because... The My boy is just somewhere in yeah. Haiti or something. And he, he ain't here. Yeah, and them not having him. Boy, ducked off. <laughs> that boy said, I'm gone. He said, I ain't finna be in that shit. <laughs> Hell no. But him not being there had them heavily relying on mm-hmm. Kelsey. Mm-hmm. And then when her. Kelsey was like, gotcha. Yeah, her pulling this now, it's just like, yeah. You thought. They like throw this case out. Yeah. yeah that's much. what this is looking like. Because it was supposed to be a 10 day case, 10 day trial. Mm-hmm, but and it may not even last that long. Yeah, they're gonna have to just throw it out at that point. It ain't yeah. looking too good. It's it's not, man. It's 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 like damn, bro. Like <laughs> you would think you would get answers after all these years, but we've literally the only thing we've got now is more or less we Megan wasn't telling the truth, honestly. Kelsey's not definitely telling the truth because she's not trying to incriminate herself. And mm-hmm. she just involved. had an interview in September, so mm-hmm. so ain't no way she didn't remember. Yeah. So she, question: mm-hmm. What happened? Allegedly, allegedly, from what you, uh, from what personal opinions, well, from what we've been talking about for years, and just what we recently uh, found out, allegedly, some stuff they went to college party. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, Meg uh, was pr- there was a lot of liquor there, wasn't that many people. So when it's when it's that ratio, there's a good chance boys is gonna be lit. And you had Kylie else. Oh, yeah, first yeah. of all, why the hell is she not there? Who Kylie? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like people stuff. Yeah, she. Me. I mean, she probably don't want to be even involved with these yeah. shenanigans. This is beneath her. Anywho, <laughs> she so, don't say that, ladies and gentlemen. That was Ross Perry. <laughs> All Ross. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. She she not trying to deal with no court proceedings or anything like I that. Did it, but. So, um, uh, from that point on, uh, Tori, you know, probably doing his thing or whatnot, trying to flirt with Kylie. Player, you know, that's just he in the bag. I mean, he's technically smashing. But best friends, they just don't even know it. 
That's wild. So he already on a high. He got Ooh. the the um the quarantine radio. He about to get a deal off that. Probably. He's blowing up, drop chick tape. He's he's in his bag right now. He's feeling good, you know. <laughs> got the, the the hair looking good finally. Back, somewhat. You got it back. Yeah, got it yeah, back. From overseas. They <laughs> yeah. flew some men for him. So he lit right now. He's in the pool with Kylie Jenner. She's already have her little break with uh, uh Travis at this point. So mm-hmm. he he's shooting his best shot. Yeah. So Obviously, Meg no, probably no feature for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Meg not feeling, you know, feeling the feeling the vibes or whatever. So they get told to leave. They leave or whatnot. She comes back. They come back because apparently she left something or whatever the case is. She comes back, and you know, it's one of those situations. Like, damn, bro, she. <laughs> all right, bro. Because right. now she tripping. Now she don't yeah. want to leave. Yeah, because he's cause he here. Yeah. She's like, all right. You know, you be like, all right, I gotta go. You know, it's when that type of situation. So he leave or whatever. I guess there's a scene. She causes a scene. Kyle's like, hey, y'all got to get the fuck up out of here. This is mm-mm, I don't, I don't do with this. Too much. Y'all doing too much in Leave this that small shit where y'all Keep at. The good tree. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, exactly. So it, they end up going to the vehicle, <laughs> and I'm willing to uh, at this point. They Tori is getting into it with Meg, and Meg start hitting them with some. You know how women they lit. Start trying to hit you with the low blows, like, oh, that's why I'm a better artist than you, which is quite laughable. But uh Wow. I mean, she's not a bad artist, but she's kind of been in that one lane for quite and some Tori time. Tori has lanes. Tori has oh, lanes he's, and he's on the open highway. That was a good one. That was <laughs> that went over my head. Oh my god. <laughs> That was a good one. I, air fist bump right there. Boom. That was a good one. But uh, nah, Tory does have different lanes where he can go into. And the fact that he's been somewhat semi-canceled a good pod and, still, too, and still be able to get a, a, a decent amount of records sold and people listen that to his That man made a whole 80s album and that whole jam. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. So yeah, them yeah. going back and forth on that and then that's when he gets into his bag because he's like, oh, you're a better artist than me. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, all right. Well, damn, Kelsey, how you going, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, how you going to let uh, Meg talk to me like that when, she, you know what I'm saying, we over here smashing behind your back. Boom. Now, Explosion. Damn. Now she upset because okay. she's like, wait a minute. How many times do we have to do this, old oh, man? <laughs> how many, how many times, times do you have, have to, to tell you? How many times you got to keep messing with people, you know what I'm saying, that I mess with behind my back type then situation? Start naming people. Yeah. Damn. So now, you know, it's a brouhaha in this vehicle. And you know, there's probably a lot of bait. stuff Ooh, going on. Right. I'm thinking that maybe Megan and Tori got into, you know, not Tori, Megan and uh, Kelsey got into some type of physical altercation. Because now, you know, Liquor tempers are flying. Yeah, Megan the women fighting over them. Yeah, so maybe that happened, and then maybe you know what I'm saying wrong song. <laughs> you still <laughs> definitely wrong song. So we gotta talk about that too. Can't use that one right now. Uh, but then uh, after we that, do. <laughs> uh, then after that, Megan gets out the car, and that's when maybe the gun gets brandished or whatnot gets pulled out, and may I can see. I just don't see Tori just randomly saying, you know what, since you diss my music and my discography, I'm going to shoot your ass. I just don't see that. Doesn't really make sense. I think maybe Kelsey and Tori fighting over the gun and shots get rang out and it accidentally one of the bullets. Ricochet ends up accidentally hitting Megan. And this is how we have this whole situation of, oh, shit. My thought process was always there was a fight over a gun and then yes. an accidental shot came out. That was always my thought. That yeah. it sounds it's just exactly. the most plausible thing considering uh Kelsey's testimony. It kind of lets you know she's not trying to she's not gonna incriminate herself. So she wants to make sure that immunity deal is good. She she's ain't not trying the to immunity. She has something to do with it. Yeah. If uh, if, yeah. if you asking for that, yeah, you saying that, that I'm that trying mean, to plead the fifth, you have something to do with it. Because if Tori just if Tori just blatantly went out and shot her. You don't, then, what did you need an immunity deal for? There we go. You don't need one. I they would have been snitched on. That's kind of like yo, yeah. clear cut, Johnson. And then I, you know the whole situation, her getting back into the car. I'm sure there was a lot of apologies Real. being said, all this other stuff. And then oh shit, yeah, yeah, sobered up a little bit now. Mm-hmm. Now you realizing like, oh damn, this is real. Yep. We celebrities, we can't be doing this shit out here. We in the middle of. Mm-hmm. Damn, what we gonna do? I got this going on. I got now mm-hmm. your nerves is running wild because mm-hmm. you. You have drunk and you're trying to figure out like, damn, I'm about to fuck up my future. Mm-hmm. We celebrities. Big mm-hmm. celebrities in here. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
that's that's pretty much the gist I've gotten from this. Yeah, I kind of I pretty much agree with that, and yeah. and the, that's why I always say uh, it's unfortunate that making that had to go through that incident. Of course, at all. of course. Um, so we never made light of that, and I think that's something Definitely that not. a lot of women had to stop doing. Like they kept pulling it. Oh, that bro, somebody got shot. Da, 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 da. It's like, bro, we know somebody we realize got shot. That that, that is but the, it's the unfortunate event that happened. But yeah, at the end of the day, the way she made it, we seem, can't sit here and just point these fingers when everybody was here drunk. Mm-hmm. Having some kind of altercation, mm-hmm. and it was some random, probably some random gunfire that happened, and now we're just pointing fingers and trying to blame one person or the other. When in, mm-hmm. in the end of the day, it was probably everybody's fault. Yeah, yeah, that's what I feel like. It's an everybody's fault yeah. type of thing because like, they were all drunk. Everybody was drunk. Yeah, it was an incident of everyone. It was one of them bunch hey, of dumb all, decisions that night. <laughs> we all did something that we probably shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. She just unfortunately was the one that ended up catching impact. And at least we it wasn't involved. anything worse, you know? Exactly. Yeah. And that's my biggest thing. I'm like, you're out here still performing, still making music, and y'all all doing it. But it's not black and white. Yeah, she got it's shot. Not it's not. It's not. I pulled out my gun and just shot you in the foot. Yeah. It's not that clear cut. It, it can't be, because this would have been done. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I wish. That's, that's how I feel. I'm like, this would have been done if it was that simple. And we got our lovely women. Love them. Gotta love them. Yeah, but, of course, of course, of course. Um, They get into that. How y'all take up for him? Y'all just don't protect and like black women. That shit. That, that, I am so that shit is so cringe, tired bro. Tired of it, bro. I'm exhausted. At, that's why I was like, please don't him. bring this case back up. No, like, I'm I get exhausted. It, I get it. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying about just not bringing it back up because of that. Lord. That, that I'm exhausted of that line. I don't even want to honestly get into it because it's like, bro, if if you feel that way. That's on you. I can't. I can't. <laughs> at this point, I can't. You know, waste my breath or time even going back and forth. I no. see it on Twitter, and I just be like, okay. I just shake my head and just keep it you moving, bro. Say, okay. Because you, we we people don't want to be wrong, and uh, you see that a lot on social media. People, oh, yeah. people can't admit when mm-hmm. they're wrong. That's funny because I was literally about to do exactly that right before we started the pod. I was like, damn. Well, gonna snitch. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, I tried to, I tried to make him look good, man. Yeah. It's, it's over now, though. <laughs> yeah, made a post about it. No, I just kind of, you know, said, hey, there's no really reason for him to be snitching at this point because he's, you know, doing the file. I mean, he took the plea. Oh, you trying to take up, like, you know, yeah, 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 make okay, sense of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it's really no point in him doing since he's just until in he read that transcript. Until the transcript, mm-hmm. and now it's yeah. Like, I was damn. in that same camp. I was like, oh, I don't think that's what it is. And then once I seen the transcript, I was like, oh, damn, damn. Push and please. I didn't bro. know it until you read the part where I you did, said I that didn't he, either. Yeah. he admitted that it was a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I was, I was like, because like, ah, I heard people saying that, but you know, I like to at least hear that or see that for myself because you know people can oh, say yeah, anything. I was, I was going to find it. out more mm-hmm. information. And once he once it came out that he said that, I was like, oh, well. And that video had just posted like right. Somebody had reposted it on my mm-hmm. timeline, so I was about to look at it before we started, and I was like, no, nah, I'll just wait. <laughs> and he said, the was like, well, there it is. Yeah, that that just <laughs> damn, bro. It's it's so much crazy stuff going on. Shit, uh, last Friday, my boy, well, not my boy, but you know, R. Kelly, you know, the Paul Piper, boy. man. That's uh, your boy. That's your boy. Nah, he's not my boy. Yeah. I mean, look, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He's made some. He makes some. No, we know some music. Music. We, know that. we all I'm talking about music we that, that we've definitely, you know, what I'm saying, made it's sweet musical grind. love to. You know, what I'm saying, mm-hmm. I had on the playlist, but apparently. He dropped his album. He that dropped shit his album. Is crazy. He apparently, dropped his album Friday. Well, last Friday or supposedly something. Like supposedly he didn't drop it. Someone else did. Uh, yeah, I, I, I heard he had made a statement saying he didn't drop it. Someone else Somebody did. Somebody leaked and it. And then they took it down. They took it down. That's on. why they took it down. Oh, okay. So that's why they took somebody, it down. Because uh, somebody else hacked him and leaked it. Damn, Damn, they was able to upload it to all the. So you where know. did he make this album? Is what I want to know. Well, I think it was pre recorded music. Okay. I was, was like, today was like, you know what? It's R. Kelly. Make a studio in the jail. Yeah, because I believe he was already doing this right before he got locked up. Remember, he, mm, did, he yeah. was working on something. Mm-hmm. And okay. yeah, but before he got locked up and somebody else just went in and, you know. And I ain't going to lie to you. Out. I definitely listened to at least one. He has a track on it and it's called, I admit it, part one, part two. Or three, because you know he loves his parts. Yeah. He loves so, his chapters. And on, I'm you gotta, listening you gotta to it. You got to be easy when you say that, Ross. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it with that voice. He loves his parts. He not do? with R. Kelly. <laughs> Let's not do that. No, 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 no. That's his boy. Not with him. We got to just. 
Point good is, good music. Point is, is it, it definitely gives trapped in the closet vibes, of course. But mm. it, when I'm listening to it, I'm like, bro, this nigga is really singing his heart out on 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 all the bullshit that he's dealt with. And he's like, bro, all my friends out there that I helped me and turned on me, fuck you. I'm like, damn, damn. Damn, bro. Damn, that's tough. Like he, they probably he, realized what he was doing was like, now nah, we good. <laughs> we good. Yeah, we great, bro. And then he was yeah. over there talking about like, man, these women, they some on some something on the lines of like they they knew what was up. I ain't have no sex dungeon. Like he's making it sound all glittery and beautiful. Cause he's while singing saying it. it. He's singing it. I'm like, yeah. what the hell? My man was You can't even listen to his music the same no more. Like I'm talking about like yeah, the yeah, newest, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything newer that he makes, mm-hmm. you will have to have that kind of context with it now. It's like it's damn near impossible to listen to it in another mm-hmm. way now. Because yeah. now you're just like, that's what he's singing about. That's weird. Yep. And the crazy thing and is, is that he's moves. low row for plethora of niggas, bro. Yeah. So a that's lot the of the songs he has the talent. Yeah, he wrote he for just does. He wrote for so many niggas. Bro. He knows what people want to hear, even yeah, if he's bro. talking about something else that yeah. people don't want to and, hear. And that's and it goes back to the conversation of canceling. He, he's not getting canceled. There's no way he can get canceled. Well, he was bro. just on TikTok. Yeah. Clearly not. Do it to you like that. You know what I'm saying? And niggas went and listened to the album. The nigga made more sales off that one day. Don't you do it. <laughs> don't don't you do it. Damn. He said it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> bro. He I want you got, to understand. He got more uh, listeners than who? Sweetie, bro. Who? Sweetie. That's how you say her name? Sweetie, yeah. It Saweetie. is an S-A in front of it, so. Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah, Sweetie. But, Sweetie. But the point is, I'm point I'm trying but the point is i point I'm trying to prove here. If, he, if he's truly canceled, Sweetie. if he's truly canceled, no one would listen, right? No one would care to. Yeah. No you one know would. people don't cancel Some shit for listen. real. It'd be yeah, fake bro. canceling. Yeah. So, oh, that's canceled. Next week they back on it. Yeah. We yeah. know how this goes, we, man. We, Quit playing yourself. Stop acting like you canceling shit. When you know you ain't canceling facts, shit, man. bro. Facts, Come bro. on now. When you got a convicted person. <laughs> Y'all out here still listening to R. Kelly. Still list- seems like you, you know. You know what I'm saying? Still <laughs> doing all kinds of things. Stop acting like y'all canceling these people when you know you not canceling these people. <laughs> they mm-hmm. not, bro. Talking about, I don't listen to Dave Chappelle because he blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, buddy. It don't matter, bro. What, did you see his last thing? I thought you canceled him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> what happened? Well, look, it was just on the TV. <laughs> it just happened to be on the TV. Crazy, man. Oh. Oh man, really? But you it watched the whole thing. Of, it has been a lot of court stuff, though. Yeah, bro. Like the sh- information on uh, takeoff. The uh, did y'all hear about that? The, I heard the about kill, it, but it, yeah, I didn't know the, the exact DJ? details. So yeah. DJ Pat, it mm-hmm. uh, basically the other guy who was, I guess, Quavo's guy. Um, mm-hmm. The way he was shooting, it was only it was only possible for him to shoot in another direction away from takeoff. Of course, and DJ mm-hmm. Pat was the only one shooting in the other direction. <laughs> Basically leaving it up to pretty much him. Like it was, mm. it was almost cut and dry. So he actually shot. Yeah. Was it intentional or he? Sh- they just they have him on camera or like a steal or something. They have a shot of him shooting in the direction to take off, and there's basically two shooters. So there's take Quavo's guy, and the way he shot, there's no possible way the trajectory of the way yeah. he shot or whatever would even hit take off. Oh, so I was fuck. like, oh, he done. Yeah. But I know I've seen a lot of people online that I guess knew him. The mm-hmm. DJ Pat, yeah, supposedly and was saying he not like that at all. People, but I know him. people that know him that says he is. Oh. That's good, like I know somebody who's like cool with him who said he's. Mm. If you know, he's like if you know Pat, you know. Then you're oh, like, okay. okay, I don't know none of these niggas. Well, so. I know he uh, he gonna be in jail for a minute, bro. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. It's almost like it's it's not like the Tory Lane shit. It's, nah, yeah. It's almost cut and dry. It's like damn. clear and cut, Johnson. And people obviously they've been new. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Man, I mean, you don't lock up that guy on an accident. Nah, they've yeah. been new, bro. It's, he's he's been Yeah. He be. that's, that's I just sucks. wish we could stop doing shit like that. That's dumb. Me too, man. We arguing over some like, That shit was man. dumb, bro. We arguing these are lives being lost. Over oh, oh, a dice game. Well, it originally it, it from what people were saying, it, it spanned more than just the dice yeah, game. I'm sure. But still, it's it like wasn't worth shooting. But then you know what over. we do when another race or something say some shit about oh, oh don't don't talk. That's Bro. crazy. 
That's we don't crazy. give a damn. Look how people look how people let that go. Now people are arguing like, no, it ain't him. Free him. Yeah, now people are saying, no, nah, it ain't him. The killer, right, the on. killer was already killed or some stuff. I'm like, hey, look, I don't, I don't know. All I know is we we lost someone. We don't value talented life. and we uh, just an innocent, an innocent person. Just then a light. Drop in one of the hardest verses on uh, Metro Booming album. Mm, the fire. ABC, yeah, 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 yeah. that fire. ABC. Yeah, ver- that that, that was, was one of the hardest hard. verses I've ever heard from Takeoff. I was like, what? That that shit. He, he did the, 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 the alphabet. The yeah, that shit was tough. Want to come at the A? Yeah, mm, yeah. The C. You know, yeah, like that. bro, it was going off when we did the yeah, album reaction. We was like, how long? Takeoff was eating, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. his his development was going crazy. Like, because then the Quavo him. and Takeoff album, he had um, what is it? To the bone, bad to the bone. Mm-hmm. Well, they, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that one, and then it was uh, the one uh, the sample, the one the uh, Outcast. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, the Outcast sample. That one and um, he ripped on that. Was one it too. chocolate? I think it's called chocolate. I think I know what you're talking about. Chocolate and messy and mm-hmm. messy. Yeah, you man, went crazy on that one. Too. Oh my god, that oh. his his development is crazy. Him, him, and it's crazy. It's like him uh, take off and twenty one had like this crazy developmental yeah. spurt. Of, like mm-hmm. the the verses just got more complex. I mm-hmm. guess or, it wasn't so cut and dry. A B. Boom. They was really putting some thought behind like yeah, that. The, that alphabet the verse was like, "Wow, this is a takeoff verse." I'm like, "Whoa!" Like, I, said, I got I, the pen. I don't know. He's don't like, "Let twist. me show you. I can write. Like I can actually spit." And that nah, was very he, good. I was like, I'm, "I'm impressed." To be so young, you you hate to see it, bro, and it still hurts. Like yeah. to be to see someone so young that's yeah. just getting really into they. He probably been in his bag, but to where it's like people noticing it. Now you're it. noticing it because now you're, he was just branched off from Offset, you, you and Quavo, and mm-hmm. I felt like he was probably going to take one more. They were probably just going to do another set of separate albums then, again. Yeah. You know what I mean? At then that he's going to start doing personal features more. In nah, his, 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 uh, especially after the Metro. Man, right, that Metro right. Bumen verse, yeah. that was the verse. I'm telling was, you. Because it was, was just verse. him. That was that verse where you like, okay, he about to just start hopping on everybody's yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was him by itself. Well, he got another song that dropped earlier here with Richard Kid, Crypto. Yeah, that nigga. Well, we danced to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> shit goes so hard. I was like, oh, this nigga. I'm all about crypto right now. <laughs> yeah, not right now, right now. Crypto but, got some shit. But yeah, What's man, going on with it's, this? It's, it's, it's sad, bro. It's, Everybody getting uh, canceled in real life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the billionaire. The dude who was supposedly had um, founded crypto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was what thirty three, died yeah. in his sleep. That's and, what they reported. And then there was died in the sleep, perfectly healthy. And then somebody and then else, somebody else, a few days later passed away. Mm-hmm. One of them, another crypto currency uh, uh, guy. He had like he was like a billionaire or something like that. And then he started going around like, bro, yeah, it was, it was something weird going yeah. on. And he had posted a tweet before it even happened. The other the guy, sick, yeah, the other guy was like, man, they trying to kill me or something. Yeah, and then and he then was dead. He, they found him drowned mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Was, Nobody's like, really talking about it. Yeah, you they're just, not. You go down that rabbit hole in Twitter, you'll find it. <laughs> you'll find and it. And like, that's the crazy thing. Nobody's nobody's like, talking about it. Bro. I'm like, and I'm like, and we're not trying to get into this conspiracy bag, but yeah, that's definitely um, not. I see y'all making money a certain way. I yeah. don't like that. Too. Billionaires. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, well, what, what did they come across? Yeah, what did they see? Who was it? Was it Elon Musk or? Um, what was the other? What's the other billionaire name? Uh, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. One of them was saying they they feel like their life's getting threatened or something recently. Probably Elon. I think it was Elon. Yeah, he said know. something on it recently. He was like, "I feel like they might be trying to get me." Type thing. I was like, "Oh no, don't be doing that." Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. That's right. kind of how it be, you know. That's that's what people. Why, that's why we ain't trying to be rich, 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 rich. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I want to be good. I don't try to be good. You know, what that's why I be keep me off y'all radar. Yeah, you know? that's why I be wanting our people to come together because. It necessar- It doesn't necessarily matter how big you they allow you to get. Mm-hmm. I'll just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. It don't right, matter. Oh, stop yeah. there, dub. <laughs> stop right yeah, there. Be careful boss. there, playboy. <laughs> yeah, they'll let you get so big, but you know, mm-hmm. if yes, you don't have ish. your community behind you to rally up and get ready to, bro, we can't even come together on not buying Gucci and shit after they didn't. <laughs> Did blackface shit over and over and over, or Balenciaga and this stuff? Like, nah, we want to shit on each other. Look at him, man. Look what he wearing. Like, mm-hmm. that's what we worried about. Yeah, we ain't focused on how to come together as a community and build our own wealth. Starting there, yeah. 
Nah, that you hang that up. Sheesh. Yeah, we having trouble with just you know when it comes to like dating each other. Uh, I know we was oh, talking yeah. about this uh, earlier this week. There was a video apparently of a, a woman they were on a date or whatnot, a uh, black couple. Well, I don't think they're a couple. I definitely wouldn't be a couple with this person. But she was basically uh, on some. Hey, can you um, can you go ahead and order some more food so I can take to my kids? Was that real? I believe I've seen a few stories on stuff like that. I believe that was a that That wouldn't even be the first time I heard this at this point. And that's the sad thing. But it's so you're on a date with someone, Mm -hmm. and as y'all about to leave, or you know, get the check and stuff. You want to take to go plates, yeah, to go orders, yeah, for your kids. Yep, this has nothing to do with your kids right now, woman. Yeah, I'm I'm good on that, bro. I just you have a good night. I pay for your dinner. <laughs> and where? Why are you on here? Cool, you you, you kind of you, like, you really being generous because that's when you hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Can you split that? Right now, because yeah, once yeah. you say something like that, I know I'm not about to fuck with you no more. Oh bro. no, for sure. So I'm <laughs> why I'm just this? saying if it was already you know. Oh, if it was already the transaction, yeah. I'm like, oh well, shit, we good here. Yeah, yeah, bro. We ain't done this shit. You can get it. The charges. You can get it for. <laughs> I'm a dispute that. Yes, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> go home. Go ahead. Buy them some extra food. I will see you him. later. God chase. Hey, um. So, hey, is there any way we can dispute half of this? Because uh. I didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she took my card without my permission. Oh yeah, we about to get lit. <laughs> Cause I know where you stay at, if, especially if I picked you up. Ah um, damn, that's an awkward ride back home. Yep, that is awkward. I mean, Ooh, is it? I'm yeah. jamming. Facts. She can just be mad in the passenger seat. I'm paying that gunner <laughs> all the money. But you gotta be careful with that, man. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers. You gotta be careful with picking up anybody. So this is true. Yeah, true. This Shit, is, meet this me is at true. the restaurant if I'm. First yeah, I, 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 I prefer the, yeah. the first. The first time, yeah. Meet, you know, me, meet, there. Me, there. meet me there. Meet me. I'll pick you. Meet up Meet me there. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Date don't, three, four. Five, yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you don't. I got that's, you. That's that's free game for you. Don't ever um, go pick up a chick on the first date. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're driving into. Yeah, you don't know what you're driving to. It's probably better got baby just, daddy there sitting there. Just, just meet up with that person. If they ain't got a vehicle, well, I don't know what to tell them. I know one thing. But an Uber there. Um, <laughs> when I talk about... <laughs> better Uber there. What? It depends on the address that I see come up. Absolutely, that matters. Oh, where's uh, where's the location? Yeah, where the location is. Location, location, location. Like, oh, you stay at A-Leaf. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. That's right. <laughs> You never know, man. Sometimes, you know, life throws them a curveball. <laughs> they gotta oh, move. Well, that means you need to focus on that. Focus on that curve. <laughs> focus on the curve before you focus on me. Yeah. But maybe focus it was on the curve a, before you get to the ball. It was a she's stupid. It was a, a spur of the moment type of situation. You saw him at a grocery store. And like, All right, cool. No, no, that's, that's life. Cool. Now meet me yeah. at the restaurant. No, yeah. <laughs> Find your way. Get your rest. get your bus oh, yeah, pass. I stay over and blah blah. blah. Oh, okay, cool. Catch, the, catch the Metro Rail and meet me down there. <laughs> catch the Metro Let's talk. Rail. <laughs> if I feel like paying for it, I will. If I don't, then split. And fellas, you have the choice there. Don't, have don't that always be up thinking, oh, well, if you went on a date with someone, you have to pay. No, no, no not, not first. Yeah. No. First date, it, it's really the tone. So, like, mm-hmm. on the first date, if you're feeling the vibes, the vibes is right. And you're yeah. just like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck I'll, it. I'll pay for it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. But other than that, it ain't. It's not mandatory. Obligated. No, no. I think it's usually like the man's, the natural man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like a natural. I naturally would be just, like, you yeah, know, of course, of course. A but natural real dude want to. But if that date trash, fuck no. Sorry, split it. <laughs> split it and quit it. <laughs> you would split it. Sometimes. If How trash does it got to be? I was about to say like, it has to be trash. really. It got to be like bad. Like, because I've never, I, I've never actually had one that was. Trash yeah, like, like to that, that. point. Because mm-hmm. I've always had the situation where I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. Or it could be better. Or, or they'll, they'll, I'll try and then they'll be like, oh, no, I got my own. All right, cool. Like that's happened before. You got to tell me twice. Exactly. Okay. But you know what, too? I think that um, you probably have a good sense of awareness of who you are yeah. trying to yeah. take out. I'm very, I'm very self-aware and I'm very observant. And so yeah. like, I live vicariously through my, let me say... Uh, Good word for these guys. My, my, they my bros, but they the bros that you know get around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, <laughs> I, I live vicariously through them. I'm not the one that's gonna try to mess with everything. I'm mm-hmm. very selective with who I mess with sexually. No, that makes sense. And so like, but I mean, of course now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before this, it, I was very selective. So like, 
if I'm going to have sex with you, I have to know. Facts. Like, I want to have. Like, I was never, never, I had a little whole face. But that's besides the point. I think I, a lot of people got But um, mm-hmm. you got to go through that. I never was really like, I'm just going to hit this girl just because I could. I used to get joy out of just pulling females and knowing I could and being like, oh, I'm good. And just leaving. Like that shit. That's a flex. That was like a thing I did just because it was, and it used to piss my homeboy off because he was like, damn, you pulled such and such, 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 and such, and then you didn't do nothing? Nah, mm-hmm. I'm good. He's just like, what? See what I can do. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> and it was just like my challenge thing. Mm-hmm. Cause I, like, I never really felt like that controlled me. Like mm-hmm. sex never really controlled me like that. So it was like, yeah, I, I do it when I want mindset. to. And so um, when it came to like dating, most of the time when I dated a female, I wanted to truly date you because mm-hmm. we talked for a little bit already. Mm-hmm. So most of the time it was just like, all right, cool. I'll pay for it. And they'll be like, nah, you're good. I'll pay for the whole thing. I'm like, okay, cool. You know. That's basically what I would do. You know, I've definitely got a good sense of character as far as girls and friends for the mm-hmm. most part. These guys, you know, kind of just we fluctuated to my people, man. I, I tend to find people that are, I'm a very close knit person, so I don't open up very easily with mm-hmm. people. So it takes a little while for even me for me to even get to this point regardless. So Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that makes sense. I'll no. evaluate the fuck out of a person before I even. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there staring like, all right, cool. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to work. <laughs> you gotta, that you know, stuff. make sure you know whoever you're around and that you know the energy that they bring in is, doesn't you know mess with what you got going on. You feel me? And that's a that's a good mindset to have. Energy, you know? man. Energy. Mm-hmm. Good it's mindset big. to have. Well, I do have um, looking here some information that they posted. Um, mm-hmm. There, I guess they asked the judge to be able to use more evidence. For what case? For the case with uh, Tori and oh, okay. mm-hmm. um, on Tori with the whole Meg situation. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we got mm-hmm. something that bounces the the, the yeah. totem pole a little bit. Yeah. This is evidence jurors will have access to during the the Tory Lane's assault trial. Um, now they'll be able to use Kelsey's Tory shot Meg text to Meg's guard on the incident of the night. Tori's record uh, or recorded apologetic call to Kelsey after the shooting. Um, Tori's apologetic text to Meg, the LAPD body cam uh, and footage of the helicopter mm-hmm. and the uh, footage of Megan in the uh, ambulance. Um, okay. The two 911 calls from the neighbors mm. about the gunshots. Okay. Um, surveillance footage with the audio of gunfire from a home near the incident. Um, X-ray images of Meg's feet. Also, evidence jurors saw images during surgeon's uh, testimony as well. I'm waiting on the meme for all that. So it seems like they're I trying to them. go more into Knowing these people. Um, getting to some detail. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. trying to they're trying to pinpoint more. Like, hey, you okay, since there. y'all not saying nothing, yeah, we, we need something. We finna mm-hmm. grill. We mm-hmm. finna figure it out. Hey, you gotta do ourselves. what you gotta do. Yeah, if that comes up as you know, straight up, I just came out and shot and said dance. You know. Then hey, then he's wrong. Then, then he's, he's wrong. He's an idiot. Yeah, he's 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 a he's a dumb dog. Oh, trust me, I got an idiot button. I'm waiting yeah. to push. Yes. you know, if it comes out that he yeah, if he did, did it, then, do it, then it's like all right. Because again, we wasn't there. That's yeah. the beauty of facts. minding your damn business a lot of times, and also <laughs> trying to wait until all of the facts come out. Because then you can wholeheartedly go in about how you feel on the situation after the result is out there. Mm-hmm. Now you don't have to worry about. Maybe in the possibilities and stuff like that, you know, mm-hmm. but when we all out here arguing over some stuff that we don't necessarily know, we just know, okay, she got injured. We're where everybody understands that and is like, damn, mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear that she's injured. Glad she's okay. Yeah. When you come out and just blatantly say, oh, somebody did it. Then this person did it. Now it's like, okay, did they intend to do it? Yeah. I know it happened. You got you know to figure out the intent yeah. of the. Of the situation, where that's like me swinging my arm and I accidentally pop you in the face. Intentions matter. Yeah, mm-hmm. if if I didn't intend to just smack you, like my you bad. can't just say, "Oh, that nigga dove hit me." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, I can, can't say it, but you, you know, can. But then that like, person was will be it missing. intentional, or was it some kind exactly. of situation happening that mm-hmm. caused this to happen? Because now you are gonna get some what like, niggas hitting people? Oh, bet. Let me run. And it's like, damn, you ain't telling me it was an accident. I was mm-hmm. swinging my arm. Megan yeah. just walks off drunk. Walks off. And a uh, guard's like, what are you doing? Uh, and he's like, I got my gun too. And he's like, oh, let me get that. And they run into each other and then they're 
her best friend grabs it and uh, you know you don't know yeah, you know yeah, it, it, it could have been a stuff. whole bunch of uh-huh. kerfuffle yeah <laughs> a brouhaha as i said i earlier. swear that i i swear that's what happened bro it's, <laughs> i almost feel so certain like if some stupid shit happened yep. to cause somebody her to get shot yeah. yep Yep, it was something right. dumb. That's why she wants immunity. That's why like, I feel like it was something dumb. With around a bunch of drunk people. Yeah. You know? But yeah, off of that situation, man. Yeah, um, definitely. I'm, we're just going to wait till we hear all the ac- uh, the actual mm, uh, facts and the details of what happened. But again, hopefully, man, everybody's able to get clarity yeah. after this situation and just move on with their careers sure. um, at some point. You know, whatever happens, conviction, no conviction, whatever People just need to be able to go ahead. Justice hopefully is served mm-hmm. in everyone's eyes and they can just move forward on this. Move on. Because they once were friends. Yeah. Everybody had a relationship of some sort. Yeah. Whether it was behind people's back or not. You know, we mm-hmm. got to. We was all cool at one we point. We got to think, yeah, we was all cool at one point. So. And now we're it's not. It's not just black and white. And now it's everybody's business. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's business, bro. Speaking of fucking business, I know. I don't know if y'all seen no, no, all no. all of that's what's been going on with Diddy living his best life. Who? Diddy yeah. living his best oh, yeah, life, yeah, yeah. bro. Nah, he is. He living his what, best what's life. What's he doing now? So apparently, uh, Young Miami got. Uh, I guess she felt some type of way because academics had said on one of, on one of his streams that um, pretty much uh, Diddy, um, uh, Young Miami is like a side chick mm-hmm. or whatnot because you know. They're not together, but you know what I'm saying? They they mess with each other. Yeah. And it came out that uh Diddy had uh had uh, has another child or whatnot. They were all, she was already I think it was, was it she? Or I'm I don't I don't know. I'm with not the sure. name Lo- Love, right? I'm not sure. You talking yeah. about the new child? Yeah, the new child, yeah, that I he think just the had. Name is love. But Hopefully basically it was it was someone that Diddy had been messing with and previously mm-hmm. young Miami had been beefing with like they had their little back and forth or whatever so it just came out of nowhere that he had he has a child now and you know the internet went crazy over it people you know commenting on it and bro she started going at it with the baby moms and then diddy over there he makes a statement saying carisha's not a side chick or whatever she's never been a side chick to me you know what i'm saying basically my boo thing but i was like she a side chick bro and now there's another picture of him making googly eyes with another model. <laughs> That's not even the one that got pregnant. No, somebody. Mm. This nigga. And niggas in the comments, City Boys up a million points. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> City Boys are. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Imagine, in, in, that, in that definition, City Boys are. Nah, bro. Imagine someone outly comes out. Nah, you not my side chick. You know what I'm saying? You my baby. <laughs> you see another picture of this nigga walking. Looking. Supposedly she was okay with the situation they had going on. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, nah, it's 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 not even that. It's just the fact that, that he can do that. Yeah, he, you know he right he, after saying <laughs> that. But it's like you don't necessarily if it's side chick terms that he's using. Why did you get the her pregnant? The other, the chick. other girl. Because don't isn't the main one supposed to be the one that get pregnant? <laughs> Like when you diddy, everybody. Sometimes a side chick accidentally gets pregnant. Yeah, we know accidentally, but he don't seem like he, he accidentally he, cares. He hey, seems like he all in. I don't like, think he gives a shit. He has plenty of money. Yeah, <laughs> no, the money part we need to worry about, but it's just a simple fact. He ain't tripping. He, like, he, I mean, the nigga was the Joker, so he probably just lost it. He was yeah. the Joker for Halloween. And then Did you see a really good him, one? Get into yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Were they really getting into it? Nah, but I don't think he knew that was Diddy. He didn't know that was Diddy, so they were actually really getting into it. Mm. Yeah, no, he was really getting into it. I think that. he knew it was Diddy at, after a while. I think afterwards, but I don't, I mean, in the initial when it was initial, going, no, no, nah, he because I didn't know that no. was Diddy. And <laughs> then after, I'm like, I immediately knew. Like, if was, I see the security, I know you somebody. Yes, yeah, <laughs> this, sure. this nigga is a menace. <laughs> he, was he was laughing. He was the thing about that <laughs> video is is so contradictory. <laughs> To what he mm-hmm. will he be about? Mm-hmm. Always talking about love and shit. Because he did the love thing at the oh, end of it. Okay. But he was like, "If you want to do it, we can do it." And but then, it's all about love, my brother. And, I was like, same, "What is going on right that's now?" The same thing. Uh, he pleading insanity. He said to DJ Academic, "He's like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? Well, he didn't uh, say it exactly to him, <laughs> but he was like, if anybody got anything to say about the people I'm with, you know what I'm saying? You know, we can have a conversation. I could pull up, but it's all about love. I'm like." 
I don't want he Diddy gonna to beat be your ch- ass with love. I don't want Diddy <laughs> to pull up. He changing the term of love. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna let you do that, Diddy. No, it's no, all we're love. Not. It's not. We're bro, not I'm gonna, gonna beat your you. ass. When the nigga said I'll with pull love. up, but it's still all love. No, it's he's not, not changing love. the terms. Think about it, guys. It's you know how love. your mom would beat you and be I'm like, "It's all love." I do this because I love you. At the time, I didn't feel like it was love. I didn't. Because I'm getting my ass whooped. I was thinking about how I was going to run away from this bitch. As soon as <laughs> Absolutely. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I I'm hate every here. second of this. this I'm out of here love. tonight. This can't be love. I'm leaving. <laughs> no possible way. But yeah, man. <laughs> City Boys is up love that shit if you a want million to. points. And um, you're living his best life. I mean, what can you do when the women are letting you do it? Absolutely. It's just like the whole Nick Do what you thing. want when you popping. Why, why are so <laughs> many people- you, want, you popping. <laughs> Why are so many people up in arms about what Nick Cannon got going on? This nigga got like twelve plus kids. But bro. these women, yeah, he actually has twenty four. They haven't discovered the other twelve, <laughs> right? <laughs> these women are letting him do that though. Yeah, they're letting him. What we tripping for? Just, it ain't got nothing to do with us. That's wild, bro. Like the power of money and status, nigga. This nigga out here, you look good. Come here, let's. We're gonna have a good time. Would tonight. you like to procreate? <laughs> Would you like to procreate? <laughs> and, and, and I don't think none of them have him on child support. None of them are complaining. Clearly, he's doing the right thing. Well, Whatever he's doing for these women, they they just all right, all right, Nick Cannon, all right. I'll see you in the rotation. He got I'll him see in you rotation. after number twelve. Jeez, bro, well, you got it. That's hey, he's clearly figured out the 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 multiple baby mama thing. Mm-hmm. Clearly, yeah. and it was funny. DJ Academic said, "Yo, you don't see these problems with Nick Cannon. All his women are in line." <laughs> <laughs> See, maybe he has the, you know, he knows how to pick them as well. He understands. Yeah. They won't come with the bullshit. And he's yeah, right. he, he probably meant, hey, true. look, if you about to be on some bullshit, man, I, I already got like five other women in, in the queue. So <laughs> it's either you get with it. So what we doing? What we Not doing? the queue. <laughs> so what Clearly, we doing? Clearly, I'm, I'm uh, very sterile. <laughs> Dog, bro. Like, dang, bro. This nigga just out here busting in 100% from the field. 100%, bro. boy. <laughs> no missed shots. No. Would you like a baby? Literally, bro. <laughs> Chef Curry when with it's the shot, boy. All said and done, <laughs> this nigga gonna have cannons all over the cannon, world. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Everywhere. cannon. <laughs> yeah, so, no, nah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be, he gonna, he gonna have a whole football team, basketball team. Facts. Uh, oh, that's already a basketball team. Private school. Good. Bro, the fact that someone yeah, got said, a full roster. Someone said he's the reason why we're over eight billion people now. It's because of fucking Nick Cannon. You know what? You're right. Mm-hmm. He got about good thirty of them. We we. How we, do you even we, keep up with that? Like I couldn't remember their names after a while. And birthdays. How? Well, he probably could, he got to have something in the notes. I knew he <laughs> it. Or in oh. the calendar on the phone, bro. What was oh, this that is, kid's uh, name again? Damn it, uh, you, Nate, me. right? Come here, you. <laughs> God damn. Number seven. <laughs> Number seven. Like bro. kids. Just uh, gotta count them. Codename kids next door. Yeah, uh, man. That's, I don't know, bro. That's, come here, It's the one. fact that it's multiple baby mamas and multiple kids. Like, yeah. Yeah. And but at the just, end of the day, they letting this dude pop. They letting them pop. They letting them do it. And there's no issue. Nothing. Everybody no seems fine. I don't hear them complaining on the shade room every week or anything yeah. like that. It they, seems like he take care of his kids. Yeah. So I, what can we say? Who are we? Yeah, can't, can't be mad at it. That's his life. Nah, you you really can't, bro. If they take good, he, he take care of the thing. kids. All 20, 20 of them. Fuck it. Not twenty. If he got the funds, he clearly got the funds for it. Yeah. <laughs> so you keep keep willingly busting these chicks. Clearly, don't and they all damn. beautiful women too. I'm like, all right, okay. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. Do your thing, man. So Do hey, your thing. <laughs> this is the uh, a testament 21. to you know. It doesn't 21. matter how. He's stupid. It doesn't Too matter how old Too you one. are, man. Too uh, you can always, you know, be out there living your life, bro. Living your best life. There's nothing stopping you from doing it. I have a question before we get up out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, have y'all seen the situation that happened with uh, Air Men and Safari? Mm-mm. Oh, you t- no. No. So, apparently, um, they seen her recently. I think they were doing like a, a mm-hmm. show, like a, a reunion type vibe yeah. show. And... Erica Mena to everybody look like she's been drained. Oh. Um, Safari drained her. Oh boy. Um, he gotta pay what, two, four thousand in child support a month? Which is not bad. Um not all. for people with money. Yeah. Yeah, and so apparently he didn't help take care of the child. Mm-hmm. Uh he didn't want to get up give up a lot of his ways. Um, and she tried to stick through and deal with him. And people are saying she looked a certain way before. 
Safari, and now she looks a certain way because of Safari. Mm. I'm asking you guys, do mm-hmm. we give our significant other the credit, 100% of the credit of what we mentally and physically allow and go through for the reason why we end up being drained of all of our... No. I don't think you can give anybody 100% credit for something, something. that's happening to you. Mm-hmm. Like, they they can easily play a huge part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Of but course. 100%, no. Okay. Because it's it's your choice. It's still you deciding to feel that way towards whatever it is that it's, you're feeling that way. Or deciding to take what you're mm-hmm. feeling it's a for as long as you're feeling it. And I think that's that's more what I was saying. Because me and Nisha react to the video of the whole argument. Mm-hmm. And he didn't really want to speak up when they were talking. As she was talking in response to what she was saying, he kind of was just like, you know, kind of you could tell kind of holding some stuff in because he probably didn't want to put out, Get it out certain business. Yeah. And in public, but she did kind of like come a little strong about, see, he don't care. He don't care about nothing. He don't care about me. I almost lost my life with this baby and he doesn't help. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Is it wrong that I always feel like you can see red flags in people that are like that? Yeah. No, I don't think it is. I think there's <laughs> red flags in everybody, mm-hmm. um, depending on the person that's mm-hmm. looking at, looking for whatever red flags they're looking for. So, mm-hmm. um, And people ignore it. Yeah, people choose to ignore it, yeah. which also causes them to have those feelings or being feel, feeling like they're drained later on in time because they yeah. choose to ignore these red flags that are going to possibly drain them in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's it's something we as people tend to do a lot. It's like somebody that says yes to everything, and yeah, I you know, see what you're you don't realize that's a issue because mm-hmm. you're just like ignoring the fact that it's a red flag, even though you know it's a red flag. Because mm-hmm. you're like, why am I saying yes to this? I don't want to do this. But you're still saying yes to it, knowing it's draining you. Yeah. Red flag. That's that true. That you're not ignoring. Like, that you're ignoring. Like, it's, it's just what we do as people. So, mm-hmm. like, that's why I never can give anybody 100% credit for half the shit that they go through. Because you allow it. Mentally, specifically, you know. No, facts. Uh, I mean, I agree to that point. It's like... At the end of the day, you have a choice in what you are willing to deal with, what you're willing to put up with. So she chose to stay around to try to make it work. And there's nothing wrong with trying. You know no, what I'm saying? No, that's, that's, that's an admirable quality. She probably sees the the good in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, and you know, a lot of us tend to do that. It's a gift and a curse. Mm-hmm. You know? Of and, course. And it's one of those things where you, it's a double-edged sword. You want to sit up there and try to see if this person will change. Maybe a child will help this person change. Sometimes that happens. You would hope true. that happens when a child comes into I hate the when that's the reason people have a child, though. True. Because yeah. typically that's like it ends up being even more toxic because they think mm-hmm. the child will solve the problems. And, it, and that usually nine times out of ten, it don't. Like it just makes it worse because now you're yeah. adding another human into the, the mm-hmm. play when you can't even be accountable for yourself. But people do it. You know, people, people, unfortunately, uh, try to see if that's the case. And maybe that's could have been a situation. That's a flawed thought process. That could have been a situation for her, too. (laughs) It drives me crazy, man. No, I hate when I hear people talking about kids when they're not even in a a good foundational. Like, you're never really ready for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, contrary to what these books probably tell people, even though I've never read any of them. It's never, you can never have enough things in preparation. But you can be better prepared. Yeah, I agree. Like you can have a better foundational, you know, platform for them to be able to kind of thrive, mm-hmm. you know, not while I'm trying to still I'm go like, to school. And, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got some people that feel like, like me and my wife, we had kids when, you know, we was 20 when mm-hmm. we started. Um, Mariah was 21. I mean, Mariah was 21. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. That's weird. But no, I was, <laughs> I was 21. When Mariah was born and pretty much she grew up with us, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And we had a lot of woes during those times. Yeah, it made us stronger and we kind of faced it and, you know, was able to go through it. But me seeing where I'm at now, it would have definitely been a difference Mm -hmm. now if I was just having her versus at 21. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have to go through certain, you know, hills and, you know, trials. It wouldn't have been as hard. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So for people who use that as like, oh, I want a kid. And it's like, mm, situation isn't really the best right now. And it's not saying it to be funny. It's, it's really love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but get yourself in a better foundation because not only are you never going to really be 
ready for kids, you want to be at least better prepared mm -hmm. right, to deal because you never know what kind of situation you got to deal with when it comes to them coming here and like, oh man, I got to take off work and all this and mm -hmm. all that. If you're not at a job that gives a damn, that's another woe. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to be a doctor's appointment. Oh man, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. You still gonna have to come in. Mm -hmm. I just said it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. These are things you gotta always uh, take in consideration you know. when dating someone. You know, gotta make sure you you know uh, kind of get a feel for them, and they also get a feel for you, and and see where it goes. You know, that's why you take your time. Don't rush into anything. Kind of let things flow, and then you'll you'll be able to understand whether you're dealing with someone that can you know handle their liquor, so mm -hmm. you don't be in a situation yeah. like. It Tory and it just it's just all turns into a blue ha when you go to someone's crib. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you understand who you're hanging out with, you feel me? So you don't end up in this whole situation. Like Yeah. Interesting. But yeah. hey, um before yeah. we get out of here, shout out to Lil Wayne. Uh oh yeah. Lollipop is a diamond record now. Finally certified yeah. diamond record. Man. Lollipop. That was so random. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. Like what? Yeah. It's a diamond record. That's wow. rare. Random news that I found out about. Like Mr. Clean with hair. Yeah. I was practicing. Oh, I've yeah, been practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so shout out to him for that. And That's awesome, man. Random That's news. his only uh, diamond record, right? I believe so. That's Because remember, dope. Lollipop was like his. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was going everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Bro, a diamond is like certified 10 million units, right? 10 and 10 I didn't like I didn't like Lollipop. I mean, it was, it was, okay. it was it the was commercial okay. track that yeah. you know he dropped. In the beginning, was, I, didn't, I didn't. I mean, I still don't really care. If I hear it, come on, I'll change it. Mean, like, uh, 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 it was like annoying. It like. was like the first time he just went overboard with the. Uh, 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 it was like, what is going on? I am getting glad. Ten million units, <laughs> man. <laughs> Diamond certified. It was weird at first to me, and I just somehow just. Fell in love with that. Yeah, you grow to you grow to love. <laughs> it probably would. It probably has more plays because you know this was during the the LimeWire era too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so probably I'm, got way. I'm, more plays, I'm willing to bet it has way more plays. Thousand percent. Uh, it is probably way over ten million, but they can only count the ones that people bought and stuff like that. Yeah, because so. we wasn't buying shit back then. Fuck no! I ain't <laughs> got no goddamn money for that. I know the, color. Oh, okay. Huh? Somebody tried to call me. Oh, for real? <laughs> so, yeah, if you tune into this podcast, man, hey, eventually we're going to be able to get you in here, uh, at least over the phone. You know what I'm saying? It would be dope yes, to kind of hear some people's opinions for those that can't make it into an actual show. Um, but, yeah, episode 85, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, shout out to everyone in the situations that's going on right now, man. Always want to push peace and love. For Hope sure, everybody sure. figure it out. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we all need to be able to have a little bit of forgiveness because none of us are perfect. No. Protect no. your peace. And stop Protect your peace. judging people. Yeah. <laughs> the word of the day is... Judge, <laughs> stop it. You feel me? None Push of us are guys. Yeah, <laughs> we out. Shout out to Dennis, my bitch is a star.